y'all. Welcome to my channel. Today, I don't know. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Today's video is just gonna have some random stuff in it. I wanna share some simple DIYs with you that I have started. I really wanna give my room that I'm in right now some more attention. It's always been just like a catch-all room. Whatever I have left over in decor comes in here. I don't really give it much thought or effort, but I wanna change that in this year. So I have started that makeover. I guess, and I wanna share with you just a couple of things I've done so far. I wanna show you a very simple DIY that I did to dress up my furniture a little bit. My furniture is from Ikea. I bought it years ago, but this one thing that I did that took me literally no time at all just made my furniture look so much more expensive. Before we get into that, I do want to share some home decor goodies that I recently bought and was gifted. I got some stuff from Home Goods and TJ Maxx. It was like a double store, a double whammy. It was huge. And they had so much cute stuff. And I don't really like to decorate for Valentine's Day, but if I did, I would go there. And I also just wanna share some home decor ideas for that in-between season for someone who is like me and you don't decorate for Valentine's Day or St. Patrick's Day or any of those days. And you just need something to hold you over until springtime. Maybe I can give you some ideas. This store was actually in Asheville, North Carolina. We stopped here on our way home. I loved the gold heart bowl and the heart tray. I thought they were subtle, maybe a little bit more, I don't know the word I'm looking for, like elegant touches and nods to Valentine's Day without being over the top, but they did have a lot of the cutesy Valentine's Day stuff as well. I was a big fan of this heart candle. I thought this was also a nice subtle way to decorate for Valentine's Day. I had to show you guys some of the spring and Easter stuff that they had. I was immediately drawn to this area and I know it's too soon to pull out the bunnies and all of that, but I will say that I am a big fan of decorating for Easter. So stick around because I do have plans on sharing all of that with you guys in the future. Okay, so for my room makeover, if this was gonna be a series, it would be like a five to 15 part series because girl, I don't know when I'm gonna finish this thing. I don't even know. I just randomly decided that I wanted to start doing some things a little differently in here and actually start to care a little more about what my space looks like. If you're like me and you are a mama, we don't get to really chill out in our room as much as we'd like to. Um, we just sleep here and come in here and change diapers, which is why I have a diaper stand here. We're slowly coming out of this phase and we're going to make this room fabulous little by little. What I got from Hobby Lobby, not Hobby Lobby, what am I talking about? Home Goods, what I got from Home Goods um, for my room was I got lamps. I was so excited, so I'm gonna put up a picture right here of what my lamps used to look like. I got them from Ikea years ago, many moons ago, and they were very cheap and reasonably, reasonably priced. They were like a bronzy color when I got them. I decided to spray paint them white. But lamps are expensive, y'all, like really expensive. So I got a bunch of gift cards for my birthday and for Christmas and TJ Maxx and Home Goods they usually have good deals for lamps. What I was looking and what I love, there wasn't like doubles of, of course. Um, but then I came across these. There's two of them and I'm showing you here because I did end up changing the lamp shade. Now I loved the clear glass shade on this lamp. I thought it was beautiful and kind of looked a little vintage. So obviously I was gonna use the Edison bulb, the fancy bulbs, the expensive bulbs, but even with the very warm light, it still hurt my eyes. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get something to cover it up. I ended up ordering these black 
matte, modern looking shades off of Amazon. And it was kind of hard to find something to cover this particular light. It wasn't like buying any other random lampshade. So I went with that. For now, I think it's fine. I do want to see if this pleated lampshade that I found on Amazon, Amazon, but I liked how different they look and I liked the gold. That's what inspired the DIY that I did. people rave about this stuff but I haven't tried it until now. I am so happy with the way that it's looking but also just how easy it is. Now nothing is clean right now. Y'all you don't even know the half of what I've been dealing with in this household. My kid is sick again and my other one is now coughing so the last thing I've been doing is cleaning and dusting and these particular dressers are from Ikea they could be wiped down every single day and they'd still look dirty. So I don't know if I'd recommend them, but if you have something like this, this would be an easy way to update your furniture and make it a little bit more your style. And then up here, you see I've taken down everything. I didn't do any before and after shots. I've not even been worried about YouTube. This is the first time I've pulled out my camera in such a long time, but you can see like, pieces of the drywall and stuff was ripped off by some command strips. I have lots of screws and nails up there. Just everything is a mess, but the baby is napping and Max is relaxing and watching a movie. So I thought, let me just do the side table. And then I ended up doing this and it was so easy to do. So this is a before shot here the lovely mess, the baby's fingerprints on the dresser, <laughs> and just the mess in my room, just everywhere. Um, this is real life. So let me just give a good, a good view, a good pan of the room. This is a room that is like a catch-all and we try to fit as much in here as possible. Our house is very small. I don't know if I've mentioned that but our house is tiny, so we have to work with what we got, and we don't have a lot of storage, so that's why we have things like this, and then the desk, and so I'm gonna start doing this on this dresser, and then I'll be done, and this literally took me less than 10 minutes if I didn't stop to talk. The next thing that I got from Home Goods TJ Maxx combination store was, and you're gonna see the, the light and the reflection, but, these really large matted frames. It comes with two in a pack for 40 bucks. And I want to use these in here. Originally I thought maybe over the bed, but now I have another spot in mind. Um, I know my hair is just awful. So don't even tell me, I know. I'm gonna try to look for something else over the bed, but maybe put them over here in this area with some like pictures of me and my husband and stuff. I already put a picture in this frame. This is my family. I thought it would just be a really cute touch to my room, another gold accent. And my husband told me I can't go to Home Goods without picking up a plant, a faux plant. Who taught him that? Because that is so smart. <laughs> anyway, I got this snake plant. It was $14.99, which is a little pricey. This is very heavy, but it looks like a basket. So going into some things that are not from Home Goods and TJ Maxx that I purchased and got as gifts. Most of these things are from my Amazon wish list that I got for Christmas and stuff. Looking at them spread out here on the bed and on the floor, it just kind of shows exactly 
my vibe for after Christmas. And I know we're well into January. I hate the cold. I hate winter. It's just kind of like so many emotions for me come up in this season. So I don't like to decorate for winter. It just doesn't do anything for me. But what I like to do is just decorate very clean and simple with pops of greenery. So first things first, candles, ambiance, just like very cozy feelings, very cozy feelings this is what I like and enjoy for this season all the time really, but especially in that in-between season. One thing that I got as a gift that wasn't even on my list, my sister-in-law got this for me. Her name is Amberly and she has great style. She got me these candlesticks. She's like a fan of the mix matched thing. And so that's what she did for me. This is just so crazy because she had no idea that I was going to be doing gold and black in my room. So these are perfect for my room. So sticking with that same theme of candles and coziness, I got this set of three candlesticks for Christmas for my mom. These were on my wish list. They came with three gold candlesticks and she got me these LED candles separately. I love these candlesticks. They're kind of ribbed. They have a little bit of a design on them. And I just feel like that adds like a little bit of character to it. Very simple cloche with a candle inside. And this cloche came in a set of three. Now I will say the smallest one came broken, unfortunately, but it came with three and this is the largest one. I decided just to throw a simple candle in there and I'm using it on the shelves in my living room. After I took all my Christmas decor down and I started looking around at my space, just evaluating what I wanted to do moving forward in the new year, I was like, I need some more pictures up in here, you know? I ended up getting this one from Amazon as a Christmas gift. It was on my wish list and it's very simple and cute. It's just a countryside photo. I love it so much because I live out in the country. Another canvas photo that is on my countertops that I got from Hobby Lobby for a screaming deal of $4.99. This was in the orange tag clearance after Christmas and it's just a pot of flowers and pears and you know what flowers make me happy and i have one new large picture above my entryway table now in my living room that i am obsessed with it is huge it was from hobby lobby in the spring shop so it was only 40 percent off i knew that it was going to be the perfect thing to fill in that space the wooden frame just complements the small wood photos that I have on the opposite wall. And then the black tones in the picture complements the dresser that's below it, as well as the black accent wall. It just all was meant to be. I decided to have a stack of books. And on top of it, I put this vase that I got for Christmas from my husband. And these spriggy, sprigger, whatever I want to say. These spriggy um, greenery picks from Amazon. And I'm just, like, I'm always hesitant to buy from Amazon when it comes to greenery and stuff. But my mom got me these and I love them. They look very realistic. It just makes a, a nice statement. Another thing that I got from Hobby Lobby on clearance, $6.49, was this vase. The greenery didn't come with it, but I have this vase on the shelves in my living room and I just loved the, the brown color. I love the shape of the vase. I feel like it's very on trend right now. I also got new canvases for the wall in my kitchen. So it came as a set of two and you're supposed to put them side by side and they create one full picture. And again, it's just a beautiful neutral canvas that ties in a lot of the same warm tones that I have going on in the kitchen as well as the living area because those spaces are open and flow together. Do you like what I'm doing with my hands?
before you go, let's take a look around my room and I'll show you some of the stuff that I've done already and the after of the little DIY I did. Vic came home the other day and walked into this room and said, I feel like I'm in a different place. And that was a huge compliment because the room before was a room that I didn't even want to be in. I literally only went in there when necessary and it feels so much better in here and more organized and put together even though there are things to do still like fix up this old desk that we got for free. We need to paint the walls. We need to add a, a few touches like the art over the bed and possibly some new pillow covers. Just those little things that make a room complete. As you can see, I'm still in full mom mode. We have the diaper cart in here. And like I said earlier, we are slowly phasing out of that. And we will soon phase out of this needed storage. All of this learning stuff that I put in this sliding door storage shelf. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, subscribe, hit that like button. And I hope to see you in the next one.